Hello everyone and welcome back to another Far Cry 5 video here on my channel. Today we have a very different video. We are looking at the top 10 future features that I would like to see added to the arcade editor. Now this video has been a long time in the making. Straight after the game released, I posted a video looking at the top five best and worst aspects of the new editor. And it seemed only natural that I would follow with a wish list for the future. But truth be told, I was pretty pessimistic. I did not know if Ubisoft would actually support the editor to the extent that they promised. But after numerous content drops, plenty of updates and the promise of more on the way, I have the confidence that Ubisoft have finally recognized the potential of the arcade editor and it led me to finally make this video. Now before we get into the video, there are a few disclaimers I would like to make. The first of which is that this is just my opinion. So you will have ideas for the future of the editor that I may not mention. If that is the case, be sure to drop them in the comments below and let's get a great discussion going over the future of this feature that we all love so much. The second disclaimer I will say is that I am experiencing Far Cry on the console version of the game. And while most of these wishes do apply across all platforms, there's one or two that may only be applicable to us on console. And the final thing I will say is that the footage you are seeing in the background of this video are all the maps I have built on the channel so far. And if you are new around here, what I normally do on this channel is actually post speed builds, but instead of giving you music or anything like that to listen to, I actually commentate the entire process through. So if that sounds interesting or there's a map that catches your eye, check out the description and I will have links to all of the videos that you see featured in this one here. Now with all that said and done, let's get into the list. So in no particular order, coming in at number one, we have the desire for more objective-based game modes. Anyone who follows this channel knows that this is a huge gripe of mine. We have an amazing and deep editor, but very basic game modes in which to enjoy our creations. Right now, we only have Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch, which are extremely basic and repetitive in their gameplay. Giving us objective-based game modes would allow us to create scenarios like D-Days or domination maps and just give players a whole new way to interact with the maps others have created. Number two on my list is a little bit of a cheat because it could probably come under the objective-based game mode category. But I love this feature so much I felt it deserved its own unique spotlight. That's right, I would love to see the reintroduction of the Predator mode into Far Cry. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with the mode, it essentially plays like Infected from the Halo series. And some people may argue that the Far Cry games have moved beyond this concept, but with the amount of drug use and hallucinations that still occur within the Far Cry campaign, I think it would be more than justified to reintroduce this game mode and make it fit with the story. Now with story compatibility aside, I think this is just a smart move from Ubisoft. When you look at some of the games that last well after their launch, like Halo, it's always the infected and zombies game modes that keep the community together. And combine this with the wonderful editor we already have, I can see Far Cry succeeding long into the future. I promise number three is the last of the game mode related wishes on this list. But I would love to see the addition of a proper racing game mode into the arcade. Now, this may come as a surprise to some, but Far Cry 5 added some really good driving mechanics into the series, and I would love to see Ubisoft expand on this in the multiplayer aspect of their game. Imagine 12 players locked into a vehicle with the inability to shoot each other, racing through a user-created map. It would be goofy, it would be chaotic, but I would love to see what the community can create with such a game mode. Number four on my list is the desire for more assets. Okay. I know this might sound a little greedy because we have thousands upon thousands of structures and objects already in the game. But in my opinion, there's still a number of categories that are really lacking. One of the areas I would like to see improved is the transport category. We have countless objects that would go very well with a cargo ship or a commercial airline, but never the actual vehicle itself. Now, of course, I don't expect such large vehicles to be operational, 
But the empty shell of a cargo ship or a commercial airline would be amazing and open up some really unique map ideas. Now of course we can make these with our own generic shapes, but having the structure already in the game would save us plenty of time and just open up those map opportunities to the everyday builder. In number five, I would love to see the introduction of a separate asset creator or catalog. We have some amazing tools in the arcade editor, with duplication being one of them. This is really only good for copying things within the same map though. What if you spent hours upon hours painstakingly detailing the interior of an entire mansion, and then wanted to use it in a future map? Well, right now, there's no way of doing that. But imagine if we could group combinations of assets together and then save them as their own unique structures to be accessed at any time. This would be amazing if they took it even further and allowed us to upload our creations and download those of others, creating an almost Steam Workshop platform within the Far Cry community. This would be amazing in allowing players to really push the boundaries of what's possible, saving time and allowing people to be more creative in the process. In number six, I would love to see deeper boundary customization. Anyone who follows this channel knows that I place a huge emphasis on ensuring that spawn killing or trapping is as difficult as possible in all the maps I create. But there's a number of tools that could really help us prevent these issues. The ability to control the playable zone based on which team you're on would allow us to lock teams out from each other's spawn. Furthermore, we could even apply this to vehicles and adopt a system similar to Battlefield, where infantry have a slightly smaller playable zone, as opposed to vehicles and then aircraft and so on. It would just allow us to create more expansive maps where all modes of transport and conflict are viable options. At number seven, I would like the ability to make vehicles and explosives respawn. Now, I imagine this feature wasn't included out of concern for performance issues, but I feel it really holds back some amazing map ideas. One prime example I came across was someone who tried to create a dogfighting map, where two teams would spawn with their own planes on a runway and then be forced to battle it out in the skies. The problem was, after each player's plane was destroyed, it would never respawn for the entirety of the game, leaving players trapped on the ground. Allowing vehicles to respawn would allow us to guide player behavior in a very specific direction and really add a specific theme to each of our maps. Number eight, wider roads. Okay, so this one is most likely a personal thing, but does anyone else feel like the roads are exceptionally narrow even on their higher setting in the arcade editor? Now this is a minor gripe, but they do feel really constricted compared to the roads in the main campaign. Now, of course, we can also widen them with textures, but it feels like an unnecessary chore. Giving us the ability to widen our roads further in the editor would allow us to make things feel a lot more to scale and even create much larger roads like highways a whole lot easier. Number nine, snapping. Now, I'm pretty sure this is just exclusive to us on console. Right now, we can only snap things by rotation by using the triggers in the coordinates tool. But what we cannot do is snap items together as if they were magnetic. A prime example of this are fences. Once you place one fence piece, you would expect the next section to automatically snap onto the part you have already placed. But that does not happen. We have to manually place and align every single piece, which is immensely time consuming and extremely frustrating. A tool like magnets from Halo Forge would make using generic shapes and fences a wonderful joy to deal with and not a frustrating chore. Finally, at number 10, we have scripting. Now this is a topic that sends the imagination running wild because it would allow us creators to make our maps living, breathing things. Imagine a D-Day map where bombs constantly fall from the sky or a journey map where jump scares can pop out at any moment. These are the possibilities that scripting would allow us. And while I have no doubt this would be immensely complex to implement, it would bring a whole new layer of depth and unpredictability to every single map. And I think it would keep the editor and the arcade community alive well into the future. 
So there you have it guys, the top 10 future features I want to see added to the editor post launch. As I said in the intro, these are just my opinions, and I'm really curious to hear what you guys want to see as well, so be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you are new around here, be sure to check out some of my speed builds, which is the main focus of this channel, and if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. Finally, if you're on the Xbox platform, be sure to join the Sam Plays test team. We play Far Cry 5 on the maps you see on this channel, every Sunday night at 11 p.m. West Australian time. I hope you guys can join that club. I hope we can connect in the game itself. And of course, thank you always for your support on the channel. For more Far Cry tips, tutorials, and of course, entire map speed builds, be sure to subscribe. But until next time, thank you and see you in another video very soon.